Midas tires. Um, as you know from yesterday, I blew out my tire, so I need to get that fixed. So I'm getting that fixed right now. I got up super early for this. Um, all right, so this is the result of that. They well, actually, that's not the result. This is the result. They actually pumped it up. Uh, right when I pulled it out, I hadn't even seen the problem, but then I saw this screw in it So they took this out and they think that's the problem. So they pumped it up. It's all good now. They did it for free So that's awesome uh, Yeah, I don't know what to do with this now. Just like throw it on the ground <laughs> Run over it again and get the tire pops again uh, No, but yeah, so I'm got that fixed way quicker than I thought I would it's uh, right now I'm gonna go get something get something to eat and then I'm gonna start corner hunting so I'll see y'all at the first bank peace all right so oh I dropped one all right so I got ten dollars from a uh, one bank and then I got 60 in this type of roll from another this has the those initials that we've seen so many times I want to know who this person is DWD and then it also says David which is my like that's my name that's my initials so that's not my initials, but that's my name. So I want to know who this is that keeps on turning all these in. And it didn't have anything in it. And then these 60 were from, a, I want to say, Heritage Bank. So let me just do two of these rolls. If I don't find anything, I'll check back. Nothing first roll. Two. I feel like two rolls is a good number where it's not, it doesn't get like... You know, I don't want the, these videos to just be like me looking through tons of coins and just like, I don't know, too, mu too much I feel like is like looking through all the rolls, so I just decided that like two rolls is a good good, good starting number. Alright, this is the second roll. Nothing in this one, so I'll check back. Okay, wait, is this on? Okay. Look at this. Do you see that? They put a spacer coin in. Do you see that? Like, there's the one coin right here that's smaller than all the others. I think it's going to be a quarter. <laughs> I open it. It's a dollar. So that's actually good for me. That's a, that's 50 cents because instead of putting... Well, let's, let me count these. Make sure that they're one, two, three, four. Yeah. All right. So they put this in instead of a half dollar. But it is a dollar coin, so I just, like, made 50 cents from them. So, <laughs> that's kind of funny. Um, yeah. Uh, that was, that was like, one roll later after I said I was going to check back, so. I still have two rolls left. Alright, last roll. Um, and it's on the very end. I, it just clinked out right at the end. And I was like, wow, that sounds like a 90 percenter. And I think it, yeah, it is. Let me see if this will focus. It never does. But anyways, this is like the third bank. I already got a 90 percenter. That is awesome. 1964. Um, I'm now going to go to... Where should I put this? I'm now going to go to my... Uh, wait, where am I going? Oh, two more banks and then I have a dump bank. Or three more banks then I have a dump bank. Wells Fargo. So yeah, I'll check back with you guys if I get any more half dollars. All right, I got 140, no, 100, 150 in halves from a, what is this, Bank of America. Is this angle bad? It's fine. Um, so I'll look through like two rolls of them. Uh, if I don't find anything, I will check back after that. In this parking lot, there's like actually I think I counted five banks in this one parking lot, so I'm going to be in this, like, same area for a little bit, but hopefully there's more half dollars. All right, nothing in this roll, so I'll check back if there's anything else in these rolls. Boom. Ten dollars. Kind of a cool roll um, from a bank, and then I'm on to my dump bank to turn in all the half dollars I've gotten so far and hopefully get some more. Sorry if the camera's shaking a little bit. Um, I don't see anything. Nope, nothing. So I'll see you guys at uh, next bank. All right, so I don't know if this is showing up. Um, I actually forgot to tell you guys, but I got a 2007 proof. This was actually at the same place I got that 90% silver. So yeah, that was kind of cool. Uh, 
so I got a proof, and then I got 70 more, or no, 90, 90 more in halves from uh, Chase Bank. So I'll look through a roll right now, and if there's anything, I will... Nope, nothing in here. So I will check back. That sounds... Sounds different. I don't know what's, what's up with that. Anyways, I'll check back if there's anything else in these rolls. Last roll. Here, I'm going to see. do the same. Alright, see if you can spot it right here. I didn't even see it till I did sound check. 66, 40 percenter. So that's second silver of the day. That was actually in the last roll of this 90. So I am on to Wells Fargo to turn in all of these half dollars and then hopefully get some more to help me. So I will catch you guys there. Peace. All right, so that was probably the smoothest like transaction there I got. So I cashed it all in. Then I got from three different tellers had half dollars. I got uh, somewhere like around two hundred dollars. A hundred of them have like two different search marks. One of them says like no hundred. I mean a hundred of them say searched. Then they have a little M symbol, and then they also have a slash. So these are now four times searched, but. I never trust any other searchers because I found silver in search rolls before, so. All right, so you can see here I got a, is this filming? Yeah, okay. I got $190 from a Red Canoe Credit Union. Um, looks like they've been sitting there for a while, so I'm gonna look through a couple rolls right now. They gave me this nice little pouch thing, but I don't really use these because I have, I got, from that one bank you guys remember I got this awesome like bank like full-on bank bag so I don't use those very often but it's cool when they give it to you um looking for marks all I see on mark wise like if someone oh, I just almost knocked over the camera um if someone had looked through these is I see a little mark right there I don't know if that means anything but okay this is I think sixth or seventh roll and I think there's one right here you can see it. I'm guessing 40 percenter. 66. So that is the third, I think. I'm going to say third. I'm not exactly sure, but I think that's third silver of the day. I'll do a couple more rolls. See if there's anything else. It was in this same type of roll. Banksupplies.com. Free advertising. Okay. Here's another one of those rolls. Nothing in that one. And today's going pretty good. And it's only, it's new, it's just about to be noon now, so I still have a good amount of time left in the day to coin or hunt, so I don't know, I feel like this is going pretty good. I still have to get a jack from O'Reilly's though for my, my car, but wherever I go, nothing in that one. Uh, the jacks are like completely. This has nothing to do with corner hunting, but the I'm as many of you guys know my car broke down and stuff. So the jacks I need I want to get a jack for just going around. Oh, I got one. You see that right there? Sixty nine. Two silver so far in these rolls. I guess I'll just keep on going then, because why not? These rolls are turning out having stuff, so I'll just film for a little bit longer. Um, but I was saying the jack that I was gonna get for my car, it would it's just for like going around. It's nice to have a jack, and I have a jack, but it's missing the like the part where you actually crank it with. So I need to get a jack anyway. So I'm gonna stop by that soon and get that. But after that, I just said that so many times. After I stop by an uh, auto parts store and get that, I'll be back to corner hunting. Okay. Um, I don't see anything. I'll just do one more roll, and then I'll check back if there's anything else uh, after that. I have like five rolls left. Nope, nothing. All right. All right, let me show you where I am. So I'm in the tiny town of Orting, Washington. Um, that was probably really quick. You probably couldn't see anything. Um, so I got from two different tellers. One teller had 10, one teller had $20. So I got three rolls that I'm going to look through right now. And then I'm on to the next town. I hope that angle's okay. 
I might have to sort of like bend down a little bit. Okay. First roll, nothing. I was hoping there's gonna be like a hundred or something, like someone turns in a whole bunch, but nope. All right, next roll, nothing in that one. And then the last roll. Nothing in this one either. So I will film again when I get to the next bank. All right, so I went to a US bank inside of a grocery store. I forgot to, I found one of these in a coin star a while back, uh, an English penny, just random coin. Um, but I got two rolls of half dollars from a, a, a US bank inside of a uh, grocery store. And the U.S. banks I found some silver at, so I'm hopeful that there'll be silver in these two. First roll, nothing. And second roll, nothing. All right. All right, so the thing I'm about to show you, I think I've only seen once or maybe not, a, not at all. I'm... Maybe remembering that I think one, but I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've seen one. I know that they're out there, but they're super rare to ever get. So, um, <laughs> I just, I'm just like getting tons of anticipation. It's like the moment before like a beat drop, like in a song, you're just like waiting for it. I'm just like giving way too many, much anticipation to this, but this is kind of cool. It's a $20 roll of halves. I've never, like, you never see these, ne like, never. Um, so I think. Yeah, so, <laughs> have any of you guys seen these before? Like, if they are out there, they must be really rare, because with all the banks I go to, and not to see these all the time, would be kind of, like, weird. Hopefully there's some double the silver in it, right? Uh, apparently not. There's nothing in this one. No silver, I mean. I don't know. That's really cool, though. $20. Oh, I just dropped one. Okay. It's harder to put them back in the roll. I'm not used to this, getting these in. All right, $10 from a uh, US bank. Um, and then I'm on to Wells Fargo. All right, nothing in there. Uh, Wells Fargo only had 20, so I'll just look through them right now. First roll, none. Second roll. Has none. Okay, right, ten dollars from an umpqua. Um, and then next town again. Uh, it looks like yep, nothing in these. So I will check back with you guys. All right, I'm back with half dollars again. Sixty this time from a Sound Credit Union. Um. They had one thousand. They had one thousand dollars and half dollars that they were sent, shipping out, and I asked if I could buy them, but um, they said they were sending them off to Loomis. So, and I asked like if I get like what was I? I was trying to see if I could buy like some of them or buy like all a thousand, and they just said like I guess once they already placed the order, they can't unship them. So, kind of sucks, but. Whatever. All right, some people are gonna be really happy at first because a lot of people want me to look through pennies, but they just gave them to me in a penny box here. Uh, let me see if I can open this right while well, I'm holding the camera. Okay, so they gave me 290 and half dollars. I'm gonna do one roll right now, and then I'm going to do the rest um, without filming, so you don't have to watch. Probably. This is but tons of rolls without silver. So first roll has nothing, so I will check back if there's anything in these rolls. Peace. Kind of a cool little sunset going on right now. On my way to the second to last bank of the day. It's, or no, actually I, I can hit a few more. It's 4.07, so I have like 40 minutes left. So almost done with the day, starting to get dark, and I'm going to start heading home after these last few banks. But um, hopefully we get some silver at these last three. 
Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys at the first bank. Or, the next bank. <laughs> All right, what's up guys? I'm ending, sort of ending it now. I have some silver, more silver to show you guys. And uh, another, some more half dollars. But um, yeah, so I went to, a t I got three silvers. I went to a teller and I said, um, do, you ha do you have any half dollars? She's like, uh, yeah, I do. So she only had individual ones. So she's like, you're not looking for silver, are you? And then I answered her, but she was, I feel like she was about to say before I answered her, because they're not silver. Um, but they were. I don't know if she was going to say that, but I feel like she was. So it's kind of funny, like ironic that she had three silver in her tray because she was aware that there were silver coins. Either she didn't know these were or she just didn't know what silver coins look like because I got uh, 1968. You can see on the front. You probably can't, but um, it's there because um, my camera never focuses. 69 and... 65 so I got three more silvers to add to the little I got a little stack going right here um, Which I'll show you guys I'll finish this up at, at home I'll like so I have better lighting and stuff for the final review So I'll show you guys that later and then I also got uh, from I didn't want to film it because I had like four banks And I wasn't gonna look through any of them. Uh, I got a hundred twenty ten and then like I forget the number but I got I think I have like 600 total so I got half dollars here and then a whole bag of them this is from like two different banks so those are all customer rolled I'm going to do a live event with those and hopefully we can actually find some silver live because I've been wanting to find silver live for the longest time but it seems like every single time I try to do it I never find silver so it's it might happen this time I don't know it's just the luck of the banks Providence um so yeah, I'm going to do a final wrap up at home, but right now this is the end of the going to Banks Corner hunting because it just, I think it's like 540 now, and uh, U.S. banks are open till 6, so there's no more U.S. banks in the area, and I'm going to start the long drive home, and I will, uh, this is just going to, this little hand is just going to like take you right back, it's going to like teleport you an hour and a half through time, right? All right, guys. These are the totals right here. Got home from doing that. Tried to do the live event. Didn't work. So that will be posted later as a coin roll hunt itself. So check that video out. I want to say tomorrow. It might be two days. I'm not sure. Christmas is coming. The goose is getting fat. I'm not, not going to sing this song for you. But um, yeah, Christmas is coming. So I don't know how editing is going to work. I don't know if I might skip a few days. Uh, post twice in a day. No, that's probably not going to happen. But uh, yeah, I want to see what will happen with that. But... There might be like a pretty big video idea and it's not going to be coin related, but it's going to be like a lot of money invested in this thing I'm doing. Um, so yeah, keep keep posted. Check out my channel in the next few days. I hopefully will have some good content coming out just like normal, but I want to do finish up this summary right now from this long day of coin hunting. So I'll just get right to it. I got a proof. 2007. Then I got an English penny uh, from a coin star. This I found from a teller's tray, 1964 dime. The teller just gave that one to me. Susan B. Anthony. This one is kind of funny. Do you guys remember this? That they they I don't know if they tried to do this on purpose. They thought it was a quarter, but uh, someone used this as a spacer in a half dollar roll. You know how sometimes you'll get like foreign coins or you'll get a penny or a dime or something like that in in as a spacer for a half dollar they put they put a susan b anthony in as a spacer for a half dollar so like i just gained 50 cents or if it, i don't 1979 i don't know if these are worth anything i don't collect them i see them all the time uh but yeah so i got that that was kind of, i thought that was funny uh then i got the silvers a little stack view we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight 40 percenters. And then one 1964 90 percenter. So what's eight? Eight times three is 32. Yeah, 32. Um, all right. I'm going to go with it. 32, uh, 33 with the silver dime. And then... 90% is $7, so $40. Not bad, not good. I about, I want to say, broke even in cash spent today. Maybe a little bit less, actually. 
or maybe a little bit more like made ten dollars but like I I do it for fun I enjoy doing this so what what else would my Saturday have, or Saturday bit have spent doing oh that's one more thing I want to let you guys know that like some people are like oh how do you corner hunt on a Sunday because I post videos on Sundays like I had to edit so it takes me a couple days to edit and do stuff like that so that's why videos are posted like they're usually posted either a day to up to three days afterwards so that's just a disclaimer but um yeah so what would I have done on today like other because I didn't have work school like anything so I probably would have just spent my day at home doing nothing so some of you guys may say it's not productive I have a job so I didn't have work today so it's like it's productive ish um getting forty dollars in silver is totally fine by me for a day of corner hunting I enjoy doing it I enjoy making YouTube videos so that's that's one reason why I do it that is the reason why I do it so uh, I'm gonna finish this up thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed make sure you drop a like let's get 30 likes for this video and um, yeah check out my other videos if you haven't seen my video of two rolls of silver make sure you go check that out uh, I scored huge, and I'm surprised I didn't get more views. Like, it was crazy. I wish that one had gone viral instead of one of my, like, penny videos that are, like, ten pennies that are worth a hundred, but you can't choose what go vi goes viral. So, uh, yeah, go check that out. Uh, leave a comment down below for future video ideas, and I will take a look at those. I try to respond to as many comments as, as you can, and I look at all your comments. Even if I don't respond, just know that I'm, I'm, I try to respond to them. But it's hard to respond to like 50, 60 comments a day. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And check out my other videos if you're new. And I will let you get back to whatever else you were doing today. Uh, peace out to y'all.